Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton, and it is time for more video games for you to watch and me to play. We play a special game, just for you. So yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Hey everybody. It is once again time for Tear Down. So I'm gonna tear down in Tear Down. I honestly can't remember where we left off. We more or less reached the point uh, where there was uh, no more missions that I had not yet played, so it's all gonna be a mystery from this point on. I think last time we stopped playing, there were, oh fuck. See, this is why I would never live in a loft conversion in real life because I would do that. On the other hand, this is a blatant safety issue. If it's going to be open on that side, it absolutely needs a handrail on that side to seal the, the edge. Don't think there's anything even new in the house, really. But yeah, so, um, what is the next mission? That's the real question. Creating opportunities. Are you available for a job? I've been talking to the folks at Evertides about replacing the food court with a new parking garage. I really want that job, and if the food court disappeared, it might speed up their decision-making process. So I was thinking, while everyone's focused on Lockel Parade fireworks, it'd be a great opportunity to do something about that building. The Lockel Home Guard have been using the mall parking lot as a staging area before and after the parade. You might find something useful there. Okay, that's cool. That is, I think, a new location that I haven't seen before. There's also another main mission, but let's do the side job first. Generally speaking, I'm in favour of doing side jobs before main jobs, because you never know what's going to happen when you play a main mission in a video game. A video game. <laughs> A gibby bobam. A blibby bobibum. Prepare carefully, then rest in the van. What does that mean? Prefer to prepare for demolition without causing damage to the food court. Rest in the escape vehicle. Demolish at least half the food court during the fireworks, and then leave the scene. Demolition sensor and food court turned off during fireworks. Why would you... Why would you turn off a demolition sensor during fireworks? Or at all? So, if that's the food court, then I'm not allowed to smash anything over here, I guess. How far does that extend? Is it the whole building itself? Clearly not. So I can smash the building walls, but I can't... Or maybe that's not the food court. Maybe the food court's in the interior. I don't super know from malls. Food courts are kind of an American conception of space. Yeah, okay, there's multiple shops in here. So this is the whole mall, which means that the food court must be in here somewhere. That's interesting. So I guess, I guess my goal is to, like clear a, a path and a space to cause as much damage to the food court specifically once the alarm goes uh once the, the fireworks go off and then get out yeah, which is interesting i get a whole new location to explore and uh not a super careful thing to plan for i mean there's no, i suppose there's no reason not to just go wild with the sledgehammer but Maybe I'll prep a path and sprint through dropping time bombs or something. Hmm. This is probably the biggest location so far. Well, it's the biggest single building, I think. I think I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's the food court. I'm pretty sure this is like. In terms of individual rooms, as big or bigger than the than the Gordon Mansion, pretty easily. Or the excuse me, <coughs> oh god, the Lee Mansion. All right, I should dissect this place and find everything there is to find. So I'll start over there. 
since this is the first new map I've seen in a bit, that means loads of secret loot for the taking. I just need to find it and pocket it. What does that say? Boon. I guess this is a Riverside, oh fuck, Riverside Cafe. It's not often, it's not often I travel far enough in a level to see the holodeck wall. Okay. I think this is just a cafe or a little restaurant. Tractor. No special powers to a tractor. Probably sensible to set up a car and an exit path inside the uh, the mall destination, so that I can. Uh... Is there nothing hidden in the rafters? There's usually things hidden in rafters. So that I can escape pretty quickly. I'm extremely exhausted tonight, so I might be a bit quieter than I am on my usually on my streams. I'm normally uh, congenitally incapable of shutting the, the uh, actual fuck up. Aha! That's pretty fancy perfume to leave randomly in the bathrooms. It's probably more, but what? On the other hand, maybe there's not. It looks like there's no obvious gaps in any walls. No, no double thicknesses. No hidden interior compartments. Oh, signature vinegar, significantly less valuable. I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be a lot of that. Yeah, so I'm feeling extremely exhausted today because I, I've had a couple of days of very strange sleep. So I might be a bit quieter than usual. <laughs> Hello, girl like substance. Welcome to the the stream with all of these other other people also watching. God, <laughs> sneezing should be against the rules. <clears throat> so should allergies. Uh, looks like that's just full of building supplies. Probably nothing valuable in there. <clears throat> but yeah, I might be a bit less talkative than my usual streams just because I'm feeling thoroughly unwell. Oh my god, a sand castle. <laughs> Why is there concrete underneath the sand on this beach? I know that that's like the bedrock layer, but there's been places before where there's been like smashable environments. So why not have the beach be smashable and have the bedrock elsewhere? This is the remains of the building that they have you destroy in the first mission. I guess they're building something new. Lots of destructible, destructive vehicles to use. Aha! I spy a valuable. A very durable phone. My god, it's a Nokia 3310. Which is the phone I had as a teenager, and it lasted me for 10 years. And then, when it died, I bought a new one. And that one lasted me another 10 years. More, well, give or take. And then, eventually, <clears throat> in like... 2017, 2018, I was finally forced to get a smartphone and I was like, oh, yeah, no, this is way better. I miss the Nokia 3310 and the era of phones being useful objects that were not uh, planned obsolescenced out after a single year of use. However, I do like being able to have a supercomputer in my pocket. Right, okay, so I have to not cause any damage in here. 
and then wreck it as much as possible once I've prepared for my destruction and escape. So I should check... I should check what counts as in the food court. That doesn't. That... may. Alright, I can smash stuff on the outside. Right, so the external structure of the building is is vulnerable. The internal structure seems to be vulnerable. What's what's stopping me from smashing all this shit? Like it, it the alarm's supposed to go off if I'm doing something wrong, right? How much wrong can I cause? Uh, that much, I guess. Hi, hello, Peter15163. Welcome to the stream. So if I can smash some stuff, does that mean I can just go around and wreck all the tables and things? Oh, shit. <laughs> I could take the tables outside and smash them outside. With the fire alarm, it gives you a meter so you can see how much damage you're doing. Or how much fire there is before the alarm goes off at any rate. Oh, that was weird. What's happening? Whoops. What the hell? What did I click on? Well, uh, hmm. That'll teach me to try and fiddle with controls off screen. It's weird that you can't quick load from your, your home base. Anyway. Right, so if I remove the door frame. Demolish at least half the food court. I'm not even sure what that's going to mean. Is it going to count the furniture? It must do, right? Oh, kebab. I could go for a kebab. We've not had dinner yet. Aha! How to look busy at work magazine worth $22. Definitely worth the effort of stealing. Absolutely. $200 champagne that I steal in the other place? Sure, why not? And yet... This guy is willing to <laughs> steal $20 of taco spices. That's how you know this man is a career criminal. No job too small, no job too large. Professional thiefing services across the board. There's another side door. Okay, what about the bathrooms? Not an obvious, although I am inclined to believe that every bathroom in the game has something hidden in it. No shop registers this time. Which is funny because a shop register is actually pretty valuable in its own right, usually. They used to be, anyway, back in the day, before everything switched to just, there's an iPad on a, on a stick. Two kebab places. Such luxury, such magnificence, imagine. I've never been to a place that had two kebab uh, joints in the same building. True luxury. Aha, okay. Dark moon. So that's all that building. So I can I can tear shit up and do what I like in the rest of the place. Wait, this says okay. So that's the food court. That's just all mall. The rest of it. The Lockell Military Parade. It's 
Oh. Oh. Hello. Okay. This thing handles surprisingly well. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I'll have to factor this into my calculations. I'll take this one for a test drive and see how destructive it is. Oops. That's unfortunate, because this looks like it has a missile rack on it, which would have been fun to try out. Well, well, well. Are these troop carriers? I don't think there's anything in them. This I want, though. Hell yeah. Oh my god, new favourite. What the fuck? Doesn't a minigun fire, like, 9mm ammunition? What the fuck? I'd expect this from, like, a 50 cal machine gun. Rocket launcher. I already have the rocket launcher, though. I've yet to discover a good use for it. But then, a little bit of spare explosives goes a long way. Usually, about as far as it has propellant to travel before it then uh, explodes violently. Still nothing in there. There's, I think there's exactly one shipping container that has stuff in it. Oh, gross, there's poop. <laughs> if, this, if these have only just been delivered for the festival, why is there poop in them already? Maybe it's the chemicals that... I could put it... It's a shame there's not, like landmines or something. I could do a war crime here. I could leave a landmine in the toilet and wait for someone to uh, suffer explosive diarrhea. Nothing in there. I've never been backstage at an outdoor festival gig. Do they usually have, like, a built-in green room like that? <laughs> Famous underwear. So did I steal someone's Calvin Klein briefs, or like... How is this not valuables? I can steal the FX pedal, but not the guitar? Surely any guitar that someone's using in a big stage festival is going to be valuable. Like, even if it's not like a iconic, famous guitar in and of itself. Oops. Right. Okay, I think that's everything other than the mall. That oh, look, there's a loading bay around the back. I'm going to start around the back and work my way forwards. Because if I've learned anything from playing a lot of Cataclysm DDA, it's that if you want to uh, if you want to loot a large location, it's best to start with the the small bits of it first. Much like the shipping containers, there was exactly one I've ever found something in, and that means I have to open all of them every time. Because I operate on dog logic sometimes. Love a loading dock. Holy shit. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. This is a curious discovery I've made. This is... Um, enticing.
Well, I can think of where I'm going to park that for when it's time to start. The difficulty is that you don't have any timed explosives or proximity de explosives or anything. Oh, not timed. Uh, remote detonation explosives or anything like that. So you can't, like, prep a building full of explosives and then detonate it. It's going to be a supermarket sprint through the food court putting uh, timed explosives on um, on things. However, propane cans I could put in there and the big propane I'm going to put somewhere interesting. Probably like the back office if there is one in the food court, which there should be somewhere. I'm also going to set this tree on fire. For no valid reason have I done this. What's the point in being a professional vandal if you can't get a bit silly with it? These I will move. I wonder if I tie them together I can move them safely. Oh, can I? I wonder if I can... I, well, that's not going to work. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, it's got those thin plastic strips. How delightful. I always liked those in real life on the rare occasions I wandered into the back of a shop. Oop. Well, this is just low-hanging fruit, frankly. Right, so I've got a whole, a whole mall to loot. This guy is willing to steal a $22 magazine, provided it's not in the grocery store. And then when he goes to the grocery store, suddenly... Suddenly all this shit's beneath him. I think I got $12 for something I stole earlier. Why am I not sweeping all of this into my giant van? Okay. Supermarket at the left end. Well, I say left. Left-hand side. Looks like there's offices on the second story. This is all loading, Doc. Then there's offices in here. That's probably employee access to the left... Uh, to the right end of here. That's just another access. Okay, that's just a staircase building, I guess. What's in the ground floor here? It is literally just a staircase. Staircase all the way up. I know that if I was a, a pop band or whatever this is showing up to do a gig, seeing my my billboard spray painted with deliver uh, with de derivative would definitely put me off. This vandalism feels a bit empty to it. Be honest, I don't hate this band, do I? I don't give a shit. I don't know them. It's not like Gordon Wu. Vandalizing that guy's house now that was that was satisfying. That was a work of meaning. Finding new loading docks. Oh, I tell you what, I could use one of these to move the propane cans around. That is probably a good idea. That will definitely make my life slightly easier. This is the horrible blue slime that everyone's been drinking, which is probably laced with some kind of mind control carcinogen or some equally heinous thing to put in a soft drink based on the secret chemical plant that we explored previously. Not much treasure, though. I 
I want to steal that for my house. That we've been in. That's the loading dock. Right. I can't steal like a $50 jacket. Oh, stylish fur coat worth 180. All right, fair enough. All right, that's just the outside. Nothing wrong with letting the air in. It's important to let your malls air out periodically. This was a dumb joke when I thought it in my head, but now I'm like, actually shit, in the age of COVID, air, air filtration is extremely important. Super cool how literally no legislation exists to ensure air quality or that masking is still done or any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> fake demonstration cash worth a hundred dollars. <laughs> how fake can it be? What would be cool is if I found the way to unlock the giant safe on the secret island. Then I could go steal a big pile of gold. Which is all anyone really wants to do. Uh, as was proven by one of the DLCs to popular video game. Popular on the internet video game. Fallout New Vegas. Oh, they've got stuff in this safe. This is the one they trust for their own back room purposes. This is where they keep the, the day's take. Unlike... I like these shit safes out front, but these are just for the punters. Anyone can buy one of these and it won't do squat. At least not when old Sledgehammer's McGee comes a-calling with his sledgehammer. Oh, it's a cube shop. They sell cubes here. That's nice. www.buycube.com <laughs> Apparently worthless cubes. Maybe it's like those shops in uh, THX1138. Where you can uh, buy... Buy an abstract shape just for the joy of spending money and then immediately recycle it. Oh, a spotlight. What's this concrete box at the back? Oh, that's the other loading dock. Right. I've circumnavigated the ground floor. Time to kick it up a notch. Is there really nothing valuable in this entire shop? Can I not steal this? But that's valuable. Alright, second story. What can we find here? That's the food court. That's a staircase. I suppose a food court is a valuable thing to find and steal. These are computers. How are these not valuable? He's got a computer in his house, so he must know they're expensive. Bizarre loot priorities of this man. Maybe computers are too traceable in the way that a bottle of cognac is not. Maybe everything has an RFID tag in, 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 in it in this world. That there's a fitting room in here. Honestly, I was expecting more treasure. Maybe I'm just missing it all. Maybe I should be blasting holes in all the walls with my shotgun. Or my new friend, Miniature Gun Esquire. See, that achieved nothing. Violence solves no situations. Oh, limited edition video game hoodie. Oh, this is a nerd shop. That's no good. Only nerds shop at uh, Rubik's Cube Sideways F. 
very much a, a nerd chic kind of place, like HMV has become. What did they used to sell? Music. What do they sell now? Pretty much everything. Oh Dear by Matilda Bruce, Saturday by Fiona Brown. Neither worth stealing. Aha. Rare pinks, <laughs> rare pink spray paint. I see uh, Ross Semple's been this way, whatever his name is. Rob Temple? No, that's a command for a fantasy character. Uh, right. Stuart Semple, that feels like the right name. Oh, what's in this? Ah, the outside, <laughs> once again. All right, I'm gonna try the next floor. And then I will have to try the floor above that, and then I will finally be free to explore the damn uh, thingamajig. Is this a, is this like a tiny Ikea? Doot. I need, uh, I need some Norwegian viewers to tell me if these are like parodies of Scandinavian shops. Because I'm pretty sure this game is set in like fictional uh, pseudo Scandinavia. Aha! A secret ish room. <laughs> Gotta be something valuable. I mean, in addition to the several, several hundred. Uh, dollars worth of, like, just random merchandise that I've picked up. Ah, this was where... Yeah. The stuff is. It's a wall. That's more... Oh, hello. A confiscated skateboard worth $28. So I'm stealing a stolen skateboard, but I can't steal these computers that are clearly far more valuable. Maybe there's a taboo in this society. Not even the not even the fences will will take stolen goods of certain kinds. A computer is basically an extension of your being. It's like if you tried to sell someone's leg to someone else. There's probably someone out there who'd buy a disembodied leg. Is this safe locked? Does that mean there's something in it? Oh, my gun cannot penetrate it. What about my shotgun? My shotgun can't penetrate this mysterious safe. Interesting. How about bomb? Everyone's friend. That may have worked. However, if it did... I still don't know what was in the fucking safe. <gasps> Aha! A 24 karat golden tie pin was what was in the safe. Bits of which have indeed been blown into smithereens. Which is basically one of the more classic things to have been blasted into. Okay. Yeah, maybe the guy is like like lowballing you on the high value items and highballing you on the low value items so that you never really know what's really valuable so that he can absolutely screw you if you ever bring anything of true worth. I was like, oh yeah, a magazine that you stole that has a dollar fifty cover price? Sure, I'll give you fifteen bucks for it. Oh, here's another one. Looks like the third floor is where the, the real valuables are. Maybe I can smash this one with a pipe bomb without having to uh, knock the Holes in three stories. I guess not. Whoopsie daisy. Hey. Hey, look. Check it out. Oh, hello. <laughs> How to open any safe and eat. Four easy steps. Nice. This is the, this is the safe shop. Okay. I've successfully uh, depositioned the safe into the safe, sh safe shop. Oh, blowtorching. Genius. Of course. One of the most classic ways to break into a safe. Doesn't work. Uh, let's try the minigun. 
Also nothing. Big bomb it is. <laughs> I took cover in the big safe. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. It doesn't look like there's anything in this one. <laughs> oh, ah ha ha ha! A ruby necklace worth 500. I think that's what the highest value individual item I've found so far. Very profitable this place is proving to be. I suppose technically when you when you blow torture I wanna steal this car, it's bright pink, I love it. Um technically when you blow torture safe you're cutting through the locking mechanism. So maybe there's a specific point on the safe that you can blowtorch that will cut it open. That would be a cool detail to include in this video game. Clock shop. I feel like a clock shop should sell, have, have some valuables. Oh, come on, don't make me, don't make me use all my bombs, man. Oh well. Good thing I ducked out this doorway. I feel like I may be losing loot in this mechanism. By, via this mechanism? In this method? Whatever. I don't think there's a fire alarm. I guess they haven't installed that yet. All of the merchandise is here and ready to go, but... Um, you know, it's late stage capitalism. You gotta, you gotta get your dollars in somewhere, right? I guess maybe there was nothing in that one, or uh, I've just lost it in the debris. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. If I wanted to be really systematic, I should um, pile up all the safes in one place and explode them all at once with uh, one bomb. That would save me from potentially losing some stuff. Oop, fuck. Did not mean to do that. The thing about clocks is that they're universally made of um, dangerous materials. If you do not wish to get every single kind of cancer simultaneously. It's very important not to breathe the smoke of a clock fire. There's whole entire like fire department special special services. <laughs> fire department clock division. All they do is put out clock fires, you know. I mean, it would be easier if they would just stop making clocks out of extremely flammable hydrocarbons, but... You know, the clocks just, they don't tick as good if you do that. Hi, Lily the Third. Ahoy hoy to you two. Fire Department Clock Division was the seventh season of The Wire. It's, a, it's the secret season, they uh, never allowed it to be released. All right, I've nearly caused enough problems here for one day. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Aha! Civic coffee worth $250. Oh, hell yeah, poop coffee. Rare and expensive coffee that tastes pretty much the same as every other coffee. Which is rare and expensive because this particular kind of bean has to be processed through the gastrointestinal tract of a small mammal called a civet cat. Why? Because the difficulty with which a thing is achieved and the more expensive it is, the more valuable it is as a component of conspicuous consumption. Which essentially boils down to the idea that you can... Uh, Prove you're better than other people by spending money on things that they can't afford to spend the money on. Ch 
cheap vodka worth four dollars. So I'll steal four dollars worth of vodka from up here, but I won't steal anything from the grocery store downstairs. Absolutely bizarre. Ooh, a sauna. If that is what this is. This feels like... Or is this... Is this mall jail? This is mall jail! Holy shit, I found the mall jail. I always knew it was true. I knew there was a mall jail somewhere. Mumbo Jumbo 3D 16 <laughs> uh, megabyte VRAM. That is a reference to the Voodoo 3D card that was the first widely popular um, graphics card, or like aftermarket graphics card that you could install a p in a PC back in the like, god, the 90s, I think, was when Voodoo 3D cards came out. Um, was one of the like early proponents of the like decades long movement subsequently in uh, computer component design circles of putting a sexy fairy on the box. Thereby implying that if you install this in your computer, you'll get to look at sexy pictures of fairies. This fell out of favour with the advent of the internet when anybody could just Google sexy pictures of fairies and get to see as many as they like. That is F-A-R-I-E-S, not F-U-R-R-Y-S, which is also a legitimate use of the internet, but not what appeared on the Voodoo 3D box art. Oh well, yeah, the pixie dust is how the uh, how the computer works. Everybody knows this. It's that grey goo that you're supposed to put between the uh, the CPU and the uh, extractor fan. All right, I think that's everything I'm going to find from for now. So I'm going to take a little sabbatical. I'm going to head back, having stolen everything I can find. Because I like when I do the mission properly, I like to feel like I'm. Um, get in, get out, super cool assassin man. Um, oh, I don't get to keep the minigun. I don't get to keep the minigun, that's such a shame. Anyway, uh, I've stolen $3,400 worth of cash in that mission. Time to upgrade some bullshit. Okay, all of these are upgraded fully. Pipe bomb I don't care for. Plank is upgraded fully. Gun I like, but I'm not sure I want to increase the damage because the, the tiny damage radius is what I use it for. It's a precision weapon. Bomb I do think I'll upgrade. Cable I don't use very much. But I want to get a few more for when it turns out to be useful. Rocket launcher I have no reason to use yet, so I'm going to leave it for the time being. Bomb I think is the way to go. 36 bombs with blast level 6. I could do a sprint around the outside of the food court and uh, explode the entire damn thing. Might as well finish the cables. That was dumb, actually. <laughs> that was kind of a waste. I should have saved that money. Oh well. It's water under the bridge, or indeed, good money thrown after bad. Okay, right, back to the other tides mall. Let's try this again. So, it's going to be actual professional time now. Well, the minigun, the minigun is a precision we is is a precision weapon in that it fires a lot of very precise shots very fast, without you having to think about it. Um, but what I want is usually one very precise shot exactly once. Okay, so what I want to do is go find propane cans and move them. And I also want to position this son of a bitch somewhere interesting. <laughs> I'm going to have to move this out of the way. Now, if I slam through the side of that building, the demolition alarm's probably going to go off, isn't it?
On the other hand, the demolition alarm seems to be limited to some degree based on speed of smashing. So if I let it calm down, I guess like putting out the fire when there's a fire alarm issue, I might be able to get this thing inside. Or that might happen. That's also entirely possible. It may be like an objective amount of damage that the demolition alarm checks for. I can prove that fairly quickly, actually. Let's see what happens. All right, that was enough by itself. Okay. I mean, I have broken in and put out fires that I started at times, but usually so the alarm doesn't go off. Okay, let's see. What the fuck was that? Okay, something in there goes boom by itself. Good to know. Alright, I want to find out what that was. Oh, was it this? This propane can, maybe. Well, anyway, I want to check. Okay, let's find this out. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so it took eleven shotgun blasts to cause enough damage. So this time I'll put 10 and then wait a while and then put an 11th and then we can discover the truth. That's dumb. If you don't fix the uh, if you don't fix the bins to the ground, people will nick them. Yeah, this is a great shotgun because I've leveled it up. It's extremely destructive now. You can do this in real life too. If you want a powerful shotgun, you've got to remember to level it for a while, and then it will level things for you. I forgot about the tank as well, and this fucking camper van with a missile pod on top as well. And this one that doesn't have one. Oh, these are road trains. That's what they are. I was wondering. It's occurred to me I never actually tried the tank cannon. Let's see what that does. Find a nice convenient tree. I don't seem to be able to traverse the gun up or down. Looks like it's maybe bolted onto the front. Which I suppose could be a safety mechanism for a civilian parade. On the other hand, they did still put the fucking cannons in, so... Accelerate, reverse, steer, fire, break and exit vehicle. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can change the firing angle. I want to traverse my turret up or down. That's the shit I care about. Whoopsie daisy. So there are real tanks that just have the guns bolted on horizontally on the front without a traversing turret, huh? Oh, I see. Okay, you put a tank gun on like a small tank and use it to hunt other tanks. That makes sense. I don't approve of this militarism, I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna just... Well, you know what? I think I've expressed my displeasure. <laughs> Why not have a little bit of fun with it? Oh, 
Ooh, the inertia from the, the bombs make, made the whole train roll backwards. That's cute. Oh, it's out of missiles. Well, it's no more use to me. Oh, it's got those those armor pads on the side as well. Right, time to get actually to work. Oh wait, no, hang on, I have to finish my experiment. Very important in science to finish your experiments. Okay, so it's an objective amount of damage that I can do to the food court before it's a problem. That's good to know. I can do a specific amount to prepare my route, and then all of the rest of it is... is other things. Right, okay. Do I have enough to make a big enough hole in the wall that I can get that through it? If not, I should probably just park it next to the thing. That truck face looks as big around as one of my bombs, so I think I'm just going to park this up against this wall. What, what the? What, why'd you go explosion? That was uncalled for. Excuse me for one moment. All right, adequately hydrated. I suppose, oh, I must have run into that air conditioner on the back. And it rather unhappily caused my precious propane tank to go explosion. To go, to quote the iconic film, The Fifth Element, it went big badder boom. All right, it looks fine. All right, that should allay suspicion. It's always very important to leave clues at the crime scene that point towards people other than yourself. Just a little crime hint for you there, uh, crime aficionados. Now, if I'm careful, I could uh, probably get a whole bunch of this crap out of the building. <laughs> I don't know if this stuff counts as part of the thing. But if I take it out of the building, can I then destroy it without it counting against my destruction quota? Can I get rid of this door? It's irritating me. Uh-oh. Well, this is the outside, so it doesn't count, right? It's just a cloth facade. I didn't start the fire. I'm gonna let it burn. Ma -na 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 -na. Uh oh, okay, now it's mattering. Yeah, so this thing out here doesn't count at all. But the wooden window trim did count. Good to know. Oh, it just slides on around the on the outside. Okay. I can probably detach that much more easily than I'm making it. Where is it attached? What's holding on to it? This door seems to count as outside. 
and it's still attached somewhere. Hi, Trocantazi. This is the most mystical door we've seen in this entire playthrough. Ah, shit, I did more damage to the food court. I'm not supposed to do that yet. But the important thing is I've destroyed the door and now I can get rid of all this furniture. The furniture must count, right, as part of the food court. Don't have furniture people can't eat. I mean they could eat out of their hands, but that's hardly hardly satisfying. It's not the high class mall court uh, food court experience one expects in such a fine establishment with its ugly stripped pine tables and pinstriped chairs. Fire propagation in this game is delightful. I do love it very much. It's fun to play with. Hear that, kids? Fire! It's fun to play with, and you should do so at every opportunity. Especially if your parents have, like, a lighter in the house. Maybe they use it to start barbecues. Or your dad's a smoker, who knows? Fire. Always fun to play with, never has negative repercussions. Don't actually do that if there's any children watching. Just, you know, for the record. <sighs> On the other hand, I'm not a cop. Like, it's whatever. Is this going to be faster? That's the real question. Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, this is fun. We love to entertain ourselves. Probably a waste of cables, but, you know, who's counting? The dining octopus has, has uh, dined his last octopus. His day has come. Into the fire he is cast. Down he falls. Alright, well that's good. That means that I can clear out movable debris without it counting against my don't fuck up the food court limit. Which at the very le least means I'll be able to move more cleanly when it's time to actually fuck this place up. Can't remove that. Probably can't detach that from the ground without it counting as causing causing too much of a trouble though. About the bins, not not the bins. Potted plants, they can get out too. Tray racks. Not gonna melt, but Uh, machinimas, is that what you're thinking of? Machinimas being uh, early days of internet game culture, movies made using animations in games as the animations for the film. There were a lot of fun ones for World of Warcraft that I loved as a kid. Ooh, there's a whole ass tree in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Small trees, now with spring-loaded self-destruct feature. For all action play needs. Shit, that was risky. If even a single t uh, voxel of that propane tank gets destroyed, it will explode. <laughs> Is that attached to the wall? I think that's attached to the wall. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. 
mobile object, mobile object, mobile object, mobile object, mobile object. I'm assuming that even though it's only fixed voxels that count for doing damage, that every voxel within the space will count when it's like actually tallying my score at the end. I don't know if that's true. It feels true, but then things that feel true often don't actually be true. This is the uh, fundamental flaw of the man who reckons something. Alright, I'm going to quick save, and I want to see if I can break this loose of the ground in some way. Mm. That definitely counts as damage to the food court. Yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to do that. Oh god, I can't be bothered to get rid of all of this. I'm just going to have to be quick and nasty with my demolition. Okay, fair enough. Don't really know what to prep beyond that, to be honest. I'll put a jeep in position for me to escape. So I can drive to my exit faster. Let's see what actually happens when I trigger this. Oh shit, I just realised I should have actually... Nah, it's probably fine. I get two minutes, okay. Yeah, I know, right? It was pretty cool. not hit the... There we go. <laughs> I'm actually getting slow down. I figured if I destroyed the entire ground floor and it collapsed, that would count as destroying the entire thing because every voxel would have moved. I didn't count on the sky bridge not having broken, and then there was like one pixel still attaching the upper layer to the ground, and eventually I clipped it with a minigun bullet. Very satisfying. That was good. I might go back to that one just for funsies at some point. Alright, time for an actual mission. That little brat hit me again. You won't believe the mess I came home to. It's going to take weeks to clean up and the insurance company won't even pick up the phone. I've had it with Lee. It's time to show him not to mess with the big boys. The chemical plant is Lee's life and I'm going to put it out of operation. The power plant is the heart of the facility and I want it gone. It's a sturdy beast, but I'll provide you with the proper firepower to take out the main generator for good. Also take out the auxiliary power and the plant will be short for a long time. 
Time for Lee Chemicals Endgame. Fire alarm explosion sensors and breaking a target triggers the alarm. Okay, that's interesting. That's going to be a tasty scenario. What's this? A really big bomb. Cool, okay. How do I... Uh, are you expecting me to carry this by hand? <clears throat> oh, Christ. Nothing, nothing like carrying, quote, a really big bomb to get you to feel a little bit nervous about whenever you trip, you trip over your own feet. Oh, he's rebuilding the tower. Understandable. I did do a kind of a number on it. That doesn't fit. Fuck. I wonder if I could have, like, elastic this to a car and then driven. <clears throat> they didn't tell me how to detonate this bomb. They just gave me a bomb and were like, go to it. Ah, oh, he's not coming up here, is he? If I throw this in the water, the mission will probably immediately end. Oh, fuck. Shit. I needed that. That's Poseidon's bomb now. <laughs> Call that the Poseidon misadventure. Okay, I guess I need the big bomb. Well, we learned about how big bomb work. That's that's the most important thing. Looks like the only way for me to get it over there is to actually bring it over there. The road doesn't. There's no bridge, and I'll lose it if it goes in the water. So I am actually ha going to have to carry it all that way, and then just not throw it in the drink. Maybe a bridge of planks or something. Yeah, that's my escape vehicle, so that's not going to help. Definitely not taking it all that way by hand again, though. I could use the crane, but I want to see what happens if I do this. there's boxes in the way. There's always boxes in the way. Wouldn't be Lee Chemicals without boxes all over the damn place. Unbelievable upper, upper arm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I boxed myself. The clipping when you get too close to a big object is a bit funny.
shit, how do I cut cables? Aha. Okay, they can just be cut, that's good to know. Probably manhandle it up here, right? That went rather more easily than I was expecting. All right, leave it here for a second and see what's in this tower. If I can indeed climb it rather than immediately falling back the fuck down multiple times. Cause I'm a clumsy motherfucker. Aha, okay. So that's just out in the open. Can I just... Alright. So that I can just shoot. So this might be down to finding a path as fast as possible between target points for me to just blast. Good to know. Okay, I have to press E on that to detonate it. For real? Won't that kill me? Okay, good. Okay, so that's going to be a matter of... Unless, 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 unless... Will it let me will it let me cut that loose without if I don't damage it? Will that work? Maybe not. It's probably like alarm boxes where if they get detached from the world or from the object they're attached to at any rate, then they immediately go with the alarm. Ah, okay. So that's part of the object. Yeah, when that gets detached, it triggers. Okay. So I can't move that one. Are they all attached? There's nothing else on this side. Oh, wait, no, there's, some, there's a main target over there as well. Okay. So... Probably what makes the most sense is to start over here, get that one, smash that one, smash that one, and then do the rest. The question is how fast I can do it. I don't think you usually find new treasure, and I definitely looted this building in the past. Although I was always wondering when it was going to be time to do stuff to this uh, power generating facility, which has been here since like the second level of the game. Oops. Oh, that's the target. Okay, can I fucking snipe that bitch? What if I snipe that? Nothing. This? I can do. Do I have the range? Can I make this work?
think I'm out of range. Yeah, that's too far. What about this? <laughs> oh, right, the explosion sensor. I was zoned out for a second. What acting career are you talking about? See, if I can... If I can arc a rocket through this window... I should be able to make this work. Feels right. Yeah, okay, fantastic. Oh, I know about the does not have the range meme. I just didn't know that was related. Okay, so if I hit that, that starts the timer. Then I can run over here and blast that. That will actually start the alarm. Then I can run over here and gun that. That's three down, and then that's all, that's these for the rest. Is it, what, that, like that? That's probably my best path, otherwise I'd have to go here and back again. If I go... Oh, that's, that's the boat. That's not my escape boat, that's just a boat, huh. Yeah, so if I go like that, that, and then I can just escape out of there. So if I put a car here, I can just drive to the exit. And I can probably put a car here to drive here as well. So that will save me time. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the plan. That's one of them. So if I get up on this rooftop, I can pop that one and whatever's down here pretty easy. Whoa. Okay. So I can come up here, pop that with a pistol, pop that with a pistol. I should uh, mark them. Oh, shit. Well. I love having access to a magic key that lets me escape any situation. So I can run straight up here. The fuck? Like so, and then I can run up here. Like so, and then up here. Thusly. And then I turn around and pop that one, and then pop that one. Turning around's difficult, but it's probably the easiest way to get up here. Or, actually, if I can get on the rooftop from this end, that will be faster. Can I back up a truck, or I guess I can move these crates. You know, if I can make a hole in the right place, so to speak, maybe I don't need to go all the way over the other side. Maybe I can hit that with a rocket as well. I probably need to knock holes in a lot of things, though. Maybe I should just... Maybe I do bop, bop, cross the sky bridge and hit that one? Hmm. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's always lovely having you watching on the stream. I hope you enjoy tidying and cleaning as much as I enjoy making a mess. Oh, five out of five. I feel like you give me five out of five every time. I need to, I need constructive criticism if I'm going to grow as a streamer. But 
but I will also take fawning adulation, generally speaking. Whoopsie daisy. Oh god, I've got myself trapped. See you later. Huh, or I could probably actually this would be this would be way easier to set up. That's more like it. He doesn't need a TV antenna, this is a warehouse. Okay. Spray can. That way. Up here. And then in there is one I have to shoot. An easier shot. Pop that one, pop that one. Is it going to be easier to go like that? I'll do a test run. I'll see how long it takes me to run along the top here. It's a shame you can't increase your running speed with like running shoes or something. Oh, that's is that on the outside actually? That is on the outside. Okay. That one's not though. So that one I'd have to get. So in that case, it, I could drop into a vehicle here, drive to here, destroy that one, and that one, and then drive to this one and then escape. That's probably my best option route wise. Okay, I should, I should prep some vehicles for this tentative route. Okay. Let me just put a big X on here. And one on here. me. I need to get this stuff out of the way first. Nearest vehicle is... there's a crashed car over there. Looks like there's a truck here. There must be some others around. There's always some cars around. So that's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is all of them, if I can do that. But will I have multiple cars to prep, or will I only have the one? Prepping a second long distance rocket shot is looking more and more tempting. I wonder if this is the last mission I'll ever do at Wu Chemicals, or Lee Chemicals. I honestly can never remember the difference between them. One name is Wu and one name is Lee. And they're both rich assholes. see how fast I can make this. Then we can move on and prep the second half. Right. It's no good if I fall in. Although it seems promising for the idea of prepping a uh, a second rocket shot, threading the needle across the tower. I think. Is that that just leaves the one? Okay, I don't probably don't even need to stress over this. I can just get the fuck out. In fact, I could probably just do it now. You'll never catch me, Rosas. was even easier than I thought it was. It's always satisfying when you complete a mission on your test run <laughs> to plan half your route. That went very well. Oh, a new tool has been delivered. Oh, I forgot there's a shooting range. very good at this. I only play games I can win. Oh, I did get the minigun. Oh wait, this is a leaf blower. Oh, can I use this to move debris? That's going to make life easier. Up 
upgradable? Oh, it is. Cheaply, too. Okay. Jillian Johnson, motivational reminder, side mission. Not sure where this one takes place. Oh, it's probably on the island again. I almost choked on my espresso when I turned on the news. Hilarious, I've been giggling all morning. Turns out the bomb worked even better than I planned. Great work. This one also looks like it's back at the island. Yeah, that's gonna be... That's on the island, and then this is... Where's this one? Oh, that's on the island as well. I might not complete this mission right now, but I do want to take a quick look at what it is. Especially since, you know, I looted the shit out of the island previously, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Right now, I can just look at what the mission is and do the mission. Did they add steel doors because I was so destructive? That's cute. It's a shame I can't steal the doors. Not my best pun, but you know. We work with what we have to work with, and unfortunately, I've had several days of very little sleep, so. What am I supposed to do? Destroy propane tanks. Blowing up a propane tank will trigger the alarm. Okay, propane tanks I might be able to reposition, at least some of, otherwise this will be like the previous mission. Prepping sight lines and then sniping. Okay, looks like this I can reposition. The difficulty will be repositioning them without them explodes explode explodesing. Alright, that's one. What other ones can I reposition? Tells me if I try and remove that, it's gonna fall and explode. Let's see what happens. I guess it will just explode. That one I might be able to remove carefully if I. Oh shit, I could possibly. If I cut from the ceiling above. Can I attach it with like a cable or something so that it doesn't fall? Well, not like that, obviously. Maybe if I could build a scaffold. Oh, also, uh, thanks for following Management Project 34. I assume you are a real person, but I have been followed by bots before, so who knows, really. I'm going to rest until I solve the mystery of this specific situation. Can I make this work?
Oh, this one's got more. Uh, more holders. We're just bolted at both ends, I guess. Oh, it's got two, right? As opposed to the last one, which had one. <laughs> yes, okay. Whew. Risky, but then I am a genius. Jesus. Well, at least the propane tanks I know are removable now. Or at least both of these are. I'm going to see how many I can gather up and pile in one place. My exit is there, so that's probably the place to do it. I'll start with that one. Oh, it looks like they're all the same kind as well. I didn't realise I could click on objectives. That's good to know. on the roof. It is. Okay, that's going to be risky to get down, but not impossible. Or, I suppose I could just leave it on the roof and then shoot it with my pistol on my way out. My exit boat is there. So if I drag it to the edge here, I can probably do that. Okay. Let's get blowtorch in. If I toss it off, even if I attach it with cables, it's probably going to explode. Hi, Broback134. Welcome to chatting on my stream. I hope you have fun doing that activity that I just mentioned. Oh, fuck. Probably fine. Alright, time to test my theory. Yep. What if I take it down really carefully? Like, real smoothly. That's not going to work. I just need to put it somewhere where I can pop it from a from a distance, like on the edge of the roof. That way, if I'm making my exit, I can run over here and probably... Oh, that's probably too high to have jumped from. Oh, I'm fine. Calf strength on this man is nearly as impressive as his... Uh... Oh, shit, wrong button. Nearly as impressive as his upper arm strength. Alright. Gonna be a little quick saving and quick loading until I get these into the right position. Is propane this explosive in real life? I'm pretty sure you can like shoot a propane can and it won't explode. Try that again. Quick save. All right, well that works. It is that explosive, or it it, it is much safer. I remember watching an episode of MythBusters back when 
TV was a thing. And they shot a propane can and it did not explode. Because they're pretty heavy steel canisters, right? It's hard to penetrate that. Aha. Now, if I blowtorch this, is it going to split and drop me on the floor? They could have just said it was like... This is like a sci-fi type situation. So they could have just said it was like some kind of special sci-fi uh, fuel. Far more dangerous than common propane. But no. Sadly, this did not occur to the creators of this very entertaining game. see. It is just a game, but my whole deal is kind of uh, excessively critiquing video games. Well, not excessively critiquing them. I, f I give games fair critique. And I've said a lot of very positive things about this one. Can I just travel all the way with this? Seems risky, but it's working so far. But yeah, my logic is like, why call it propane if you're not going to have it act like propane? Why not call it something science fiction-y? Get that out of the way. Every ding, every bang, every thump has my heart in my mouth. <laughs> Please don't explode, Mr. Propane Canister. I was close. Can't imagine rolling this extremely volatile thing down the stairs is going to be helpful to my goal of not exploding myself. Alright, that's two in position for easy detonation. one next. Seven meters down. It's probably in the ground floor of this building. Or uh, the next one over. I guess it's in the fish plant. There it is. I have to knock some holes in walls to get this one out. Who just leaves the fish lying around? It seems unhealthy. As, uh... Oh wait, there's explosive sensors. If I explode this wall, does that mean it'll go off? I guess it's only explosion sensors on the things that they don't want exploded, which makes sense. Oh, I like that. Low tonch.
I'll probably be able to get a very good time on this mission, something that is normal to want. Fuck! <laughs> Startled me. Oh, I can just open the door. That's probably easier. Ooh, that was close. Lost my grip on it again. Dragging it seems to be safer than carrying it facing forwards. I'm glad to have figured that out. God damn it. I mean, it is... It is considerate. But on the other hand, it's also very useful for me, because... I do have to reposition a lot of things, and when there's stuff in the way, that's irritating. I'm going to save before I try that staircase again. Ow. It's probably an easier way to do this, but... Doing things the easy way is for people who aren't dumb pieces of shit like me. Check it out, I found a shortcut. I'm starting to sense a pattern. The hastier I get, the less well I do. God, when you see them face on, they even look like giant bombs. Blinking warheads and everything, like a World War II pastiche. Oh, it's caught on the door. Fuck. Oh, all right. It's all, it's all good. It's fine. It's, fine. it's okay. Fragile fucking things. Maybe if I sneak, I'll move a bit slower, and then my momentum won't cause quite so many problems. the last one up these steps. What's wrong with this one? Alright, steps achieved. Time for a quick save. Okay. Easy does it. I'm startling- I'm starting to become startleable. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? What's wrong with this one staircase? Is this one propane especially explodey? Maybe I can make a little ramp for it. Maybe that'll work better. I should have thought of that before. 
Oh, that's... <laughs> Alright. This is starting to feel personal. I suppose I could just leave it where it is. I won't, I won't lose too many seconds if I leave it up here and just pop it as I go past. Okay. Alright, I think we're alright. I've got it this time. Feather the forwards key. Okay, right, there we go. Can number two. Ready to go. Alright, that's three down. That one next. The others, I might just get into position to shoot from this staircase, because if I can go like pop, pop, pop and get them, I won't have to fuck about quite so much. I don't know what this thing is. Some kind of fancy doodad. Possibly a thingamajig? Or a what's it? ready to go. Five, six, and seven left. I know one's in that tower. Let's take care of that one next. catch it if I aim incredibly carefully. Nope. I'm just gonna blow this up with a rocket. Fuck it. I'm not dragging this all the way back. Ah, 
That works perfectly. Two to go. Oh, three. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Three to go. the hell? Why did that explode? <clears throat> I guess there's a little bit about. Ah, that's why it exploded. I see how it is. The old highly explosive chemistry lab trick. Well, fool me once, fool on, shame on me. Explode me once, also shame on me. Jesus, that was close. a shotgun was such an effective demolition tool. Not me, till I played this video game. It's cool how you can learn fun facts about real life from video games. Such as propane is highly explosive. <laughs> and the police are not your friends. That one is true, actually. Alright, well I can hit that pretty easily. That's that one done. I wonder if I can hit that with my pistol. Hell yeah. Okay. Alright, so it's going to be rocket, pistol, 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 leave. Alright. Two to go. little flex for you there in case you were wondering whether or not I was still a good shot. I feel like this one's set up for me to use the crane to get it out of here. Feels like a trick. I bet the crane will make it explode very quickly. Crane appears to be stuck. Oh boy. <laughs> the comic timing on that was entertaining. Right. Crane, risky. Although if I get it up to the top of the steps, I... Well, not like that, obviously.
All right, needs to go around there. Uh, let's give the crane a try. It's possible I can just leave it dangling there and shoot it midair, which would be very cool. But the momentum of moving it Swinging it into the crane itself is really worrying me. This motherfucker's gonna explode again. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna leave it like that. See, I can hit it from here, so it's not really going to cost me anything, so it's probably worth doing. Right, that leaves one, one last propane can. I suppose I could try and take it down manually from here, but not easily. Not worth the effort, not worth the effort. I can do this mission nice and quick as it is. Honestly, I probably could just do it now. I'm probably gilding the lily here, I think. A phrase I'm very fond of. Don't use it very often, but I'm very fond of it. It's just such a good one. Ha, huh, okay. Seems like a nuisance to get that one out, so... Let's see if we can do this. Nice and quick. I'm not going to worry about my time. Oh, that was not the right way to go. Was that a three? I think I'm forgetting one. Four. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Eight. And away we go. Probably could have saved ten seconds on that. And honestly, you can complete this one in like ten seconds if you pile them all up in the right place. But I did not feel like doing that. Professional, a new rank with a new tool. Rocket booster, interesting. What does that do? What, on, what crazy contraptions will be required? Will require the use of the rocket booster. They all ignite at the same time. Interesting. Don't do much though, do they? I guess it could be useful for moving a large object quickly over a short distance. Uh, I don't see any pop-ups on my Twitch saying I'm being raided, so I assume I'm not being raided. I still only have three viewers. But the... Um, I'm pretty sure professional popping up on the screen was the game saying I have become a professional. Anyway, that seems to have gone well. It seems, yeah, it does seem useful, but of somewhat limited utility. Useful for very specific tasks. Anyway, 
that's going to be it from me for today. That's... If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. If you'd like to watch live, I have a regular streaming schedule on Twitch, with a Discord server for announcements and updates. Thank you so much to my patrons and donators, and if you'd also like to contribute to my existence, you can do so at Patreon or Ko-fi. All of the links are in the description and on my about pages here and on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching.